Hi everyone. We have heard artificial neural networks are the coolest. In this session we are going to analyze if artificial neural networks are really the coolest algorithms for classification purpose. In this session I am going to compare the prototypical example of artificial neural network that is perceptron versus support vector machines cla classifier algorithm. And we will find out that SVMs are far more sophisticated than perceptrons, a kind of artificial neural network. Now, let us understand this. For, uh, the prerequisite for this session is that you need to have gone through support vector, uh, my previous sessions on support vector machines. I have uh, already uh, created two sessions on support vector machines. So, a perceptron is very similar to support vector machines. Now, support vector machines, they find the maximum margin hyperplane that neatly separates the points into two categories. And any new point that comes thereafter, this hyperplane is used to classify the point into two categories. Now, a, a perceptron differs over here. It finds some hyperplane and not necessarily the maximum margin hyperplane that separates the data into two categories. In this sense, perceptron is less sophisticated than support vector machines. So perceptron uses something called as online learning. Okay. So which basically means that the training data is consumed one point at a time. So each row is represented by one uh, point, right? One coordinate. So it is separated one point at a time. It starts with two data points. So, so it starts with two data points of different labels and it finds any hyperplane that will separate the two points into different clusters. Okay. So this, this hyperplane that it has found is not necessarily the best one unlike support vector machines. It is any hyperplane that can separate these two points into separate categories. Now suppose there is a, th a second, um, now the third row that we are checking, the point coordinates come over here. In that case, the plane will adjust itself to again separate the, to again separate the two, uh, uh, the two into different categories. Okay, and it will shift itself in such a way that the iteration error is minimized. Okay, so this becomes my final plane. Then again one point will come, let's say here, then again my hyperplane will adjust itself to separate into two different categories. So this keeps happening ultimately perceptron will find a hyperplane which separates the points into two different categories as long as data is linearly separable. So, uh, but what about support vector machines? If, you know, suppose our data is not linearly separable, clearly perceptron will fail over here. But what about support vector machines? Support vector machines are able to handle the non-linear data as well with the help of uh, kernel trick, right? So, our conclusion is that perceptron is less sophisticated than support vector machines for two reasons. One, it does not find the best hyperplane, the maximum margin hyperplane, uh, unlike support vector machines which find the maximum margin hyperplane and hence give better accuracy for, uh, for prediction and classification and uh, second is that it's a linear classification al algorithm perceptron is a linear classification algorithm it will fail on the non-linear uh, when the class when the uh, problem is non-linear classification whereas support vector machines are able to handle the non-linear classification using the kernel trick thank you guys thanks a lot
I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you've enjoyed the video video please like it and share it and please subscribe to the channel thank you bye